Coming home to Grandma's garden. Welcome children everywhere. Come and play in Grandma's garden. Songs to sing and books to share. Hello friends, I'm so glad you stopped by. I have been thinking more about seeds. What have you been thinking about? I would like to make a little picture today and use seeds to color the picture. So first of all, I'm going to draw a picture. And it's a pretty simple picture. You could use whatever color you want, but you're not going to color in the shapes. And I'm just going to make a picture of a flower with many petals. Just like that. You can draw whatever you want, but don't color in the shapes because we're going to paint with glue and use seeds to make the color happen on your picture. So uh, I have a cup of seeds right here many different seeds and if you have old seeds from seed packets you could use those or if you wanted to you could go to the grocery store and get a package of bean seeds that you might use for making bean soup lots of different seeds i think that was the number 15 on there so 15 different kinds of seeds and then the fun part is when you sort the seeds those are pretty. So you can sort them into colors right now or sizes, however you want to sort. And maybe I'll put some of the, the brown, light brown ones over here and uh, the darker black ones over here. And that's kind of a fun thing to do just to have fun sorting. Maybe you want to put little cups and you can sort your seeds that way or you can just get started painting right away. So once you have your seeds ready to go and your picture ready, then you can work on the painting part. So I have my glue and I'm going to pour a bunch right here. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush with the glue. And then paint inside of the flower and just do a little bit at a time. So paint a little glue and maybe I'll make this first part kind of speckled. This first petal with some light brown and dark brown and white. And I even have a popcorn seed in my, yeah, a popcorn seed in, in my seed collection. Did you know popcorn is a seed? And you can put those right on the glue and let them dry and then paint some more. And add some more seeds, just like that. And then the picture becomes colorful, just like that. And here is a picture that I used a long time ago and I still have it and I like to look at it and look at all the color and the variety of, of seeds. So when you're all done painting and filling up your flower, then you'll want to let it dry. If you, if you hold it up right now, some of the seeds may fall off if you don't have enough glue. And then you can share that with someone that you love. When you pick up the seeds little by little and put them on one at a time, your fingers are doing great exercises. Good exercises for learning to write, learning to draw, learning to play the piano. Good exercises for that if you do one at a time. And then it takes a little longer to make your picture. A chipmunk crawled into a world of green and white and red. A world quite full of heart-shaped seeds. He ate and went to bed. We'd like to share a little music with you now, a song called The Garden Song. 
It's a song that's been done many times over the years. It's about planting your seeds and giving them love. While you watch this song, or maybe you'd like to sing along if it's one that you know, you'll see pictures of friends that we have known in the gardens we've seen and how these friends have given love to their seeds. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Well, you may not have a fun little watermelon puppet with a, with a chipmunk inside, but you can still do this poem with your hands. So some of the signs that I'll use in this poem, uh, we'll make a little watermelon and we'll make a little chipmunk there. And then we'll also make a heart. So you can make two letter C's, a backwards one and a frontwards one, and kind of hook them together to make a heart shape. That's kind of a fun one. Because I think watermelon seeds look kind of like a heart. It's kind of bumpy on the top and pointed on the bottom. So here's our poem. Make your watermelon. All right. A chipmunk crawled into a world of green and white and red. A world quite full of heart-shaped seeds. He ate and went to bed. Well, I'm so glad you stopped by today, friends. I really love sharing with you fun things to do with seeds and glue and finger plays. I'm so glad that we can be together. Stop by again soon. I'll be right here. Mm -hmm.